Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to take a look at who is obsessing over you. But before we get into the reading, I want you all to make sure you go and book a private session with me if you have not done it yet. Um, but no, I, I definitely welcome you all um, if you're interested in booking a private session with me. You can find the link to my website www.divinelotustarot.com in the description box below this video. Also, um, if you have not checked out my latest blog on my blogger account, uh, my blogger account is Divine Lotus Tarot Talks and um, check out my latest reading where um, it entails by the Zodiac element groups for each Zodiac sign who is extensively doing dark magic on you where it is unwarranted. So if that is something that interests you, make sure you go over there and check that out. And the link to that is below this video as well. So we are going to get into why are you so obsessed with me? Okay, who is covertly abusing your privacy with an unhealthy fixation of doing tarot readings on you or having tarot readings done on you or watching tarot readings on you or using any other form of divination method you know such as studying the content of your birth chart or paying for these services by other individuals or regularly obsessively you know unhealthily an unhealthy amount pulling cards on you to see what's going on in your life so we are going to start with the zodiac sign of sagittarius and go through all 12 zodiac signs and um, feel free to watch all the signs that pertain to any significant placements in your birth chart. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so starting with those of you with significant placements of Sagittarius in your birth chart, we have the Judgment card coming out. So, um, some Zodiac sign energies that we're getting coming through could be someone who has significant placement of Aries in their birth chart. It could be someone who has significant placements of Leo in their birth chart, Cancer, and Libra. There's also an energy of, this could be a sister energy. So if you have sisters with these significant placements in their birth chart or someone's sister, okay, it's a sister energy here. So it could be a sister of someone you know or someone else's sister um, who has these significant placements or it could just be a sister um, of yours or someone else's here now with the judgment card here this also is pluto energy so this could be someone who has very significant strong plutonian placements um and also um scorpionic placements in their birth chart okay so with the judgment energy being here as well too i do just want to point out that it is giving me strong musician energy so this could be a musician for some of you all or someone who is musically inclined or has some type of very strong significant like musical interest okay um clarifying it we got the seven of pentacles the two of wands and the three of cups so i do feel like whoever this is this individual invests a lot of time and energy and resources into doing this um and they've been doing this for a very long time okay and as well as this is someone who could be very judgmental and critical of you and the path and the life that you're taking and um they constantly watch you to just see like what are you going to do next what choices or what decisions are you going to do next i also feel like with the three of cups being here this could be someone who you used to um be close to so once again we had that sister energy coming up the three of cups can be like a sibling or a sister energy or maybe someone you looked at like a sister okay um at one point in time so is definitely just reiterating that energy that it could be that as well as the fact that whoever this is most likely for some of you is someone who you don't talk to okay okay next taking a look at those of you with significant placements of capricorn in your birth chart we have the ten of wands card coming out so some of the zodiac energies that we're picking up on is uh, sagittarius energy was also aligns with this ten of wands energy and then scorpio energy so they could be the sun signs okay um, as well as we have grandma energy. So some of y'all may have a grandma that is a Sagittarius or she's a Scorpio or she could have these significant placements in her birth chart. Um, and she could be doing this extensively on you all. If it is not your grandma, then it is another person's grandma. Okay. Or maybe someone who you look at is like a grandmother figure. Now with the 10 of wands being here, this also could entail that it could be just someone who has other significant fire placements in their birth chart. So other placements of Aries or Leo in their birth chart as well, too. 
Okay, Capricorn, we're, you know, we keep it honest over here. So clarifying the cards, we got we got the uh, Gemini card. We got the Lovers card. We got the Aquarius card, the Star card. We got the uh, Aries slash Taurus for me, the Emperor card. And then we got the Three of Wands. So what I'm getting from this message is some of y'all grandmas is like really concerned about y'all sexual life and your sexual preferences. So she may be trying to figure out like, what is your se sexual preference as well as and or when are you going to settle down and like get married because i feel like this grandma feel like you have a very free flowing energy or free spirit um for some of you so grandma is trying to figure out like when are you going to settle down like when are you going to commit to someone and do you actually like whatever sex preference that she thinks that you like or i guess that you come off as liking okay and keep in mind it, it could be your grandma or it could be someone else so but the grandma energy came up very strongly so that's why i was just saying grandma want to know but there's a grandma energy here your grandma someone else grandma someone you look at like a grandma and um so that could be the you know one of the people who has interest but it, it definitely could be other individuals as well too who are of those energies that i initially stated next so those of you with significant placements of Aquarius in your birth chart, we have the High Priestess card coming out. Dun, 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 the High Priestess. All right. So some of the zodiac signs that uh, this could be applying to who is obsessing over you could be another Aquarius, a Sagittarius, um, Scorpio, and Libra. And then we also have the energies of a brother. So this could be your brother, somebody else's brother, someone you look at like a brother, and then the grandpa energy here. So this could be your grandpa, someone else's grandpa, someone you look at like a grandpa. So interestingly enough, we got the dang high priestess energy comes out. So I feel like this is someone, uh, for some of y'all, maybe some of y'all, let me see if it's your family member, your brother, your grandpa, maybe your brother, your grandpa is into the occult, esoteric and things of that nature. And you are, may not be aware of this. Um, but besides that, this definitely could be another, uh, individual who holds high priestess energy. So this could be some other type of spiritualist or some type of, um, yeah, uh, psychic or medium or someone of that nature, astrologist, whoever this is, um, could be doing this as well too. Now, to me, this is definitely in telling that I, I, it could go both ways for some of y'all. There's definitely a spiritualist psychic high priestess who has invested interest in you all who is looking into y'all for their own personal means and reasons obsessively and then for others of y'all this definitely means that somebody is going to this individual and getting this done to get information on y'all so it could be any one of them zodiac signs that i initially uh named could be going to uh high priestesses to garner this information about you all right next okay so for those of y'all with significant placements of pisces in your birth chart we got the four swords coming out so some of the zodiac energies that we're picking up is sagittarius we have scorpio and we have libra now with the four of swords being here this also could be someone who has other significant placements of uh gemini or aquarius in their birth chart but this is definitely reiterating that libra energy with this four of swords and then you also could have a mother so it could be your mother someone else's mother or someone you look at as like a mother figure and then um there's other relatives as well too so this could be like cousins or extended family members and whatnot now for in some instances this could be your mother or someone else's mother or the mother figure that you look at in this role having other relatives uh look into this on her behalf in your business or um it could just be a whole group of them all doing this together okay I'm definitely getting with this four, four of swords energy. Someone wants to know who you are sleeping with. Okay. But I also just get like when you chill, when you go alone, I feel like somebody really wants to know, like, are you really chilling by yourself? Like you say you are, or, or are you just doing whatever you say you're doing when you, you, when you take time away from whoever, um, these energies are so who, whoever these are who are doing this to y'all Pisces, it would be people who you regularly like deal with. So you would have some type of relationship with these individuals because they want to know, does your story essentially add up to what you're telling them when you leave their presence, basically. All right, next. 
All right, so for those of y'all with uh, significant placements of Aries in your birth chart, we have the Lovers card. Okay, so uh, the zodiac energies we're picking up on it could be another Aries. We have Capricorn. We got Pisces. We got Cancer. We got Leo. We got Virgo. We got Libra. We got Aquarius, and then there is also a Grandpa energy here. Okay, so this could be your grandpa, somebody else's grandpa, or someone you look at like a grandpa grandfather type of figure um i did also hear um like public public um like pu like in the public so either some of y'all are in the public okay or it could just be your social media that th this is where these individuals know you from so either they know you because you're well known in the public or they know you through social media okay Okay, so with this lover's energy and the seven of wands clarifying it, the the <laughs> king of wands coming out, which is all energy and the freaking, um, oh my goodness, I'm hearing world star. And the, uh, what is this called? I'm, okay, hold on. And the, <laughs> the will of fortune. Oh my goodness, I don't know why it's taking me so long to say that. So. I feel like for some of you, you are very sexy, okay? Or people just look at you as very sexy, very attractive. So I feel like that's why these individuals are like um, doing this because they find you very appealing, very attractive. So that definitely goes back to reiterating the fact of a lot of you have some type of public persona or public image that a lot of people are um, able to see okay but that's just basically what i really pick up from this i just feel like people just think y'all are very sexy and they just want to know like about you because th that's what draws them onto you because you are so sexy okay okay next for those of y'all with significant placements of taurus in your birth chart we had 12 12 on the clock so that might be relevant for some of y'all but we got the four of cups energy coming through so the zodiac energies we're picking up on is cancer and Sagittarius we also have an uncle energy here so this could be your uncle somebody else's uncle or someone you may look at as a uncle okay and then the four of cups being here this also could imply that it could be someone with other significant placements of water in their birth chart so Pisces Cancer Scorpio okay further clarifying the energy we have the tower the strength card and the ace of cups so whoever this energy is this could be someone who you are not on speaking terms with right now um it could have been some type of major disagreement blow up argument fight that you and the, these two individuals had together uh you and these this individual or these individuals have had together it feels like these individuals it's like something about a power play struggle um power struggle between you and these individuals and i feel like as well too for some of you it's someone who gives you advice and then they go do these extensive readings on you to see if you're actually listening taking the advice that they are giving to you and or this is someone who gives you advice but you just ignore it and you reject it and um you don't listen to them because you could be a little bullheaded and then uh this this is the individual who's doing these readings on you as well too so for some of you it's specifically to see the advice that they're giving you whether it's good advice or bad advice or whatever they're going to see are you listening are you taking heed to it are you following through with it um but for others of you it's because of the fact that you're not listening to them um that they're going to see like okay well what are you doing then what's your next move gonna be since you ain't listening to them so i do feel like whoever this is for some of y'all it's uh it feels like it's someone who you do talk to maybe someone who you do get counseling or advice or guidance from at times or someone who tries to like be that role or mentor in your life and maybe they might offer unsolicited advice okay that you don't ask for okay next for those of y'all with significant placements a gemini in your birth chart we have the six of swords coming up okay so the zodiac sign energies that we have coming through gemini is libra taurus um it could be someone who you have a baby someone's boyfriend who you have a baby with it could be your boyfriend um it could be your wife or someone else's wife um and it also could be a co-worker okay 
we also have the six of swords here so this could imply that it is another air sign so let me see two three four five, six, seven. so an aquarius or libra which we already had come up here for your energy so um clarifying the six of swords we got the eight of pentacles so for some of you this is definitely business related okay because we did have the co-worker energy come up but regardless i just feel like it was someone who you worked with at one point in time and now you no longer work with this individual i feel like you feel it was in your best interest to part ways or to move on to move forward from this individual to new endeavors or just just a new phase in your life away from this individual in the clearing I feel some of y'all felt whoever this individual is um, is somebody who you felt is sneaky and shady so that's why you no longer deal with this person which is why they are uh, obsessing over you doing uh, these tarot readings and other divination methods to staying in your business okay cancer so those of y'all with significant placements of cancer we have the three of cups card coming up so as far as zodiac sign energies we have aquarius we have leo and we have libra we also have the energy of a boyfriend so this could be your boyfriend someone else's boyfriend or someone who you are in the role of a boyfriend too okay with the three of cups coming up here this also entails it could be another water sign individual or someone who has significant placements of water in their birth chart so it, they could be cancer scorpio uh, pisces placements in their birth chart the three of cups makes me feel like it's definitely someone who you are close to okay this is definitely someone who you regularly go out with who you associate with this could even be someone who you consider a friend and then it matters related to work because um, i'm getting that energy here clarifying it with the eight of pentacles this definitely could be someone who you um, who you work with okay who you work closely with um, as well as it could be um, someone who you like go out and have like go out to happy hour with or you go out and do things with who who you work with okay so if it's not someone directly in your department it could be someone in your work circle okay so for those of you with significant placements of leo in your birth chart we have the ace of wands so the zodiac energies that we have here is virgo leo um there's a father energy here so this could be your father someone else's father or um it even could pertain to someone who you have kids with so whoever you have fathered children with um yeah um the ace of wands being here this is giving strong uh fire energy so it could be someone who has other significant placements of aries leo and sagittarius in their birth chart reiterating that leo that we had energy come through okay so further clarifying it leo we have the knight of sweets which is fire energy more fire energy we got the queen of drinks um and then the page of sweets which is more fire energy there is a lot of fiery energy here so for some of you this definitely is someone who's very passionate about you okay for some of you i do get it's a family member for some of you all or someone who is like considered family okay um like i said we had that father energy come up so it could be that type of energy as well too um but i'm also getting because we have the queen of cups out here and then this page of sweets this definitely is giving me like the person who you have children with okay it's, it's the person who you have children with and if it's not the person who you have children with all uh, currently then it's someone who definitely wants to get you pregnant or um get pregnant by you okay so for those of y'all with significant placements of virgo in your birth chart we got the princess of swords which is the i spy with my little eye watching looking ass card now nah. <laughs> um, we also have the energy of gemini coming through and libra and then the other energies we're picking up on is we have a wife energy so this may be your wife this could be somebody else's wife um we have a co-worker energy and we have other relatives so this could be like a cousin or some type of extended relative distant relative or like someone who is like a family friend type of energy okay virgo so i feel like um with the energy here whoever these individuals are 
Oh, I just heard bun in the oven. Okay, so for some of y'all, whoever these people are, um, I'm trying to figure out if you had a bun in the oven, which is interesting. You Okay, this is why this is interesting because I tried to do this reading the other day for y'all and I didn't. And so coming back to y'all energy today, that energy is still here for y'all. So someone uh, or these people, whatever, are trying to figure out if you had a bun in the oven. Or, okay. So that's that's number one. And then number two is someone trying to figure out who your boo thing is. So or if you have a boo thing, because I feel like you're very private. You're very closed off. I got the page of wands, the eight of swords, the um, high priestess energy, and then the queen of main. So someone's trying to figure out who is your main thing. Who is your main boo thing? Because someone just know that you got someone. Okay. They just know you pulling like that. And you may not be talking to these individuals, letting them all up in your business. So they want to know who are you. Who, who is your boo thing because someone like you got to have someone you know what i'm saying so this this could be someone who like has some type, type of uh or, or people who have some type of slight attraction to you you know um but for those of y'all where you are married already i feel it is individuals who are okay because we have wife energy coming up so I was about to say it's somebody <laughs> it could be someone else's wife okay if yo if you're married looking at you if you're a husband but I guess it really don't even matter honestly um it, it, apparently it could just be someone's wife who got some interest in you but I feel like for some of y'all you might be married okay and you don't notice that someone wife is interested in you okay and it could be someone who you work with so someone's wife could be interested in you but besides that as well too i'm just seeing someone wants to know if you are pregnant and someone wants to know if you're seeing someone if you're married i don't know i feel like someone just feels like you're hiding someone <laughs> so either you people know that you have a wife or they know that you have a spouse and you don't really talk a lot about this spouse or post a lot about this spouse or give much information and people want to know more about that individual or people are speculating and assuming that you have a secret wife or a secret husband that they don't know about because you just have to because you're just so attractive you know what i'm saying you're just so handsome you're just so gorgeous you're just so pretty so i just feel like people are just wanting to know who is the main person in your life as well as for others of y'all are you currently pregnant okay so those of y'all with significant placements a libra in y'all birth chart we got the six of wands coming up and the zodiac energy that um came through was pisces okay uh, with the six of wands this could also imply that it may be someone who has significant leo aries sagittarius placements um we also got the energy of a sister energy so this could be your sister someone else's sister someone you look at like a sister we got the daughter energy so this could be your daughter someone else's daughter um, maybe someone you look at like a daughter this could be a sister and a daughter uh combination duo or this could be simply the daughter of a sister um, we also have an aunt so your aunt someone else's aunt someone you look at like an aunt um, this could be uh, we got the energy of someone who you may have a child with and then also um, someone who's married and then someone who um, may have experienced a loss so this could be someone who feels very lonely um, and when I say loss like um, someone who lost someone through um, death okay but with the six of wands energy here this definitely could um, I mean it could go either way um for some of you all you have a, a public platform okay um so that could be the i guess the attraction to you because you, you have a public platform um but i also feel that you also are um, looked at as being very um handsome and attractive as well too um but this also could be other individuals in the public eye is what i'm getting 
further clarifying the six of wands we got the star card here so yeah some of y'all are definitely in the public eye all right some of you are definitely stars or at least these individuals look at you as just seeing like you're supernatural like you are a star um these also could be people who just like you would be their biggest like dream or biggest wish to get with these individuals so that could be where this um unhealthy fixation um with them looking into you through tarot and other divination methods comes from okay okay last we're taking a look at those of you with significant placements of scorpio in your birth chart so we have the three of wands the zodiac energies we have coming up is aquarius and cancer energy and then um, with the three of wands this could be a fire sign individual or someone who has significant placements of fire in their birth chart so aries leo um sagittarius i'm hearing it could be scorpio as well too so it could be another scorpio or someone who has scorpio placements in their birth chart and then we have the energy of an of other relatives so this definitely could be um a cousin second third fourth fifth sixth you know aunt um great 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 you know type of energies so just individuals who are far removed from your immediate family or people who maybe have been adopted in or look at look looked at as family okay okay so we have the sun card we have the sun card that is clarifying the three of wands so with that being said i'm just getting very strong like leo energy this is double leo energy here even though you know i said it could be a fire sign but it could be someone who has very strong um leo placements um in their birth chart with this energy here but yeah someone i'm getting distant energy so this definitely could be like if it is like an other relative it definitely could be like distant um family members is what i'm getting with this three of wands card because i'm seeing they don't really have a direct relation or correlation to you which is why the sun card is here like they're really trying to like illuminate and get a lot of information on you because they they don't have access to you plus on the bottom of the deck um we got the three of swords which lets me know that like there is no communication that you have with these individuals so whoever these people are whether they're relatives or not whether they have significant placements of aquarius or cancer in their birth chart or not or leo in their birth chart i do just feel like these are lots of individuals at a distance from you who um you don't even uh communicate with and that is all i hope you all enjoyed this segment called why you so obsessed with me and if you would like to book a personal private session with me you can go to my website in the link below this video www.divinelotustarot.com don't forget to like share and subscribe